Welcome to SEO Hangouts with Josh Bashinsky. That's me. If you were hit uh, by the latest Google algorithm update, this is a video for you to help diagnose a little bit about maybe what that could have been. Uh, Google makes updates. Uh, it's rumored they make updates every day. So if you've recently lost some Google rankings, you may have been subject to this last uh, Google release. Uh, since Panda and Penguin of you know 2011 to around 2015, Google has been putting out uh, major releases every year and uh, they're probably quality related. And so when they talk about quality and they talk about core adjustments to their search ranking algorithm, that usually means they're quality related. And what Google is always trying to do in these updates, typically, not always, but typically, is uh, trying to make sure that only the highest quality websites are ranking in their search algorithm. So um, you have to make sure that your website is of the highest possible quality. When Google's talking about quality, they typically mean that users like it. So the users of your website like your website, they share your website, they link to your website, they convert on your website, they don't bounce around your website, they don't bounce back to Google, they don't uh, 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 get annoyed or angry at your website because it takes too long to load, of course the design is not very good, or maybe your content's not very good. So this is really difficult for webmasters, honestly, and quite often because no one wants to admit that they have a crappy website and, and uh, no one wants to redo their website that they had done in 1997 and get it redone or even in 2007 and get it redone. But unfortunately, that's quite often the case that Google is uh, Google doesn't care. Uh, Google has some 80 trillion web pages to rank and sort these days. Uh, all, they, all they care about is whether people like it or not and whether your web page is good. They don't care if you're a good person or not. So um, you really it really. Uh, it's really your responsibility as a webmaster these days, unfortunately, and, and owning a website moving forward uh, for all these new Google algorithm updates to make sure your website is of the highest possible quality. I do have some ways you can diagnose whether your website is of the highest possible quality. The first way is the easiest way is to email me at joshbashinsky at gmail.com. That's J-O-S-H-B-A-C-H-Y-N-S-K-I at gmail.com and I will definitely help you out. Ask me any SEO questions that you have. You can follow me on Twitter at Josh Bashinsky for more information. You can also watch more videos like this on my channel. You can also subscribe to my channel to get more secret insider Google information, Google experiments, uh, Google secrets you won't be able to find anywhere else that nobody else has at youtube.com slash jbashins. That's number one, step number one. Step number two is I have a little bit of a trick that you can use. So if I'm gonna to switch to screen share right now, you can check out this little trick that you can use. Okay, so there's a couple of tricks that you can use to try and tell whether Google is filtering your website or thinks you're low quality. First thing you can do is a site colon search. So this, 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 is, just a, so this is just a website I grabbed at a random, I don't know these people. Uh, I'm sure they're great people. I, um, if they see me using their website and they're annoyed, I apologize, but I just grabbed this site at random, I don't know them, and I put in a site colon search and it gives me the rough idea of how many pages there are. This number should be, if you're under 2,000 pages, this number should be more or less accurate, by give or take a few hundred pages. Uh, definitely should be accurate if you're under 500 pages. And so if it's not, you have gotta ask why Google's filtering you, kind of what's going on if this number is not correct. The next thing you wanna check is what is the first page they bring up when you do this search? Typically it should be a useful page or the most useful page. This is supposed to be kind of an, an order of importance of what users would find important when they wanted to check out what was on your site. So that's the site colon search right there. That's S-I-T-E colon, and then the domain name. Second thing you can do is actually take your domain name, your brand name, and just search for that brand name. And what should come up is your snippet, is your, your site should be the first thing that comes up when you search for your brand name. And so there's a couple things that uh, it, 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 it'll truncate it to this brand. Google understands your brand. Google understands your entity. And so when people start talking about entity search, this is part of what they're talking about. And so when you search for your, your, your website name without the www and without the .com, it basically, first off, you want to see what shows up here in the instant search to see if any bad stuff comes up in here, like reviews or jail time or something like that or bad reviews or or rip off or, or, or something like that. You want to check that out to make sure that that's accurate. If there's any bad stuff about you here, you don't want it to be here for sure. That's one thing you can check. Another thing you should check is your, when you search for your website name, your site should be the first one that comes up. So this is their site. This is a healthy looking site as far as quality is concerned because one, their site comes up first and you can check the cache date to see the last time that Google cached you. And they were spider just today on March 19th, so that's fantastic. And by the way, if you're watching this in 2019, all the Google updates are gonna be related to this from now on, for the most part. 
Google's kind of settled into an AI kind of a model. So this, this video is still relative moving forward, unless Google no longer shows site links, which is the next thing I'm going to talk about, which I strongly doubt they'll ever change that, is that they've been, it's been showing site links since they started in 1998 or whatever it was, 97. Um, the site links is the next thing. If, if your site comes up first, that's the first good thing. But the second good thing is you definitely want site links to show up. And these are the site links, and it's supposed to be links to deeper into your site of stuff that is supposed to be useful. So if they don't show up, the site links don't show up, you definitely have a quality problem. There's definitely a quality problem from the, from the fact that you're too new or you're being filtered or you're not high quality enough. They don't have a quality rating for you yet. And so that's a problem. If you want to know how to improve your quality score, how to get a quality rating, that is the key to 2018 SEO moving into 2020, 2000, whatever. It's going to be quality is the thing that's going to be ranking you. So email me at joshbashinsky at gmail.com. I can help you get your quality score up. You definitely want to make sure you have a good quality rating and organic quality score. I'm not talking about your AdWords quality score. That's something that's, something that's related, interestingly related, but, but totally different, that they calculate in a different way. Another thing you want to check here is to make sure that, that if you have a Facebook page, that it shows up, right? Or if you have a LinkedIn page, that it shows up. And this is definitely stuff that Google, if you have a Google Plus page, a my, my Business page, it definitely should show up here as well. You definitely want, this, these people definitely want to be getting more reviews. They've got good reviews. They want definitely more reviews. And there's all kinds of things that you need to update as well. So that's just a quick check of what you can look at to see if you might have any quality problems. And that's usually what's going on when you're hit by one of these Google algorithm updates. And again, this, this applies to any year after 2018. Google has already hired their, their chief AI uh, programmer as the head of search. That's John Gianandri. I think I'm pronouncing his last name correctly, Gianandre. And, uh, and they're going to be running on an AI uh, basis from now on. And so if, if the other people out there are not talking about AI, you need to learn about AI. You need to learn about Google search related to AI. So email me at joshbachinsky at gmail.com if, you if you're worried at all about your Google traffic and all that money that's coming to you from Google. You could lose it. It's entirely possible. I've seen it happen way too many times, unfortunately, to, to clients and to people who come to me and I try and help them out uh, and to other people in the industry. I've been in this industry for over 20 years. So... Definitely email me at joshbashinsky at gmail.com. Use my tricks, my free tricks, to try and see uh, what's going on with your site. If you need any help at all, I'm always here. Email me at joshbashinsky at gmail.com. I'd love to answer any SEO questions you have and help you out. And as I always say, good luck in the service.